Welcome to the Conversations with Goddesses podcast, the feminine way of soul connection and working with energy. This podcast is run by Kasia and Ursula, expert healers and modern spiritual seekers. Karma and Akashic Records. What is karma and how do we clear it? By accessing its memory in the Akashic field. In order to make new choices in every aspect of our life. So today it's a subject that probably brings up a lot of questions and a lot of people are talking about bad karma, but I think we want to explore it in different way. Ursula, what, what do you think? Yes, well, we, we need to define karma first of all. What is karma? Uh, in my understanding, karma is really everything we do, say, feel, it's all our memories, it's anything that has an imprint on the field around us. So any aspect of living is karma. Um, it, so we have instead a lot of uh, uh, um, charge around this world. We say, yes, uh, karma is something that we have done in the past, it is bad, and now we are bearing the consequences. In a way, uh, it is true, it is about the past, and it does have consequences, but it's I believe in the universe being a benign system where, uh, you know, we come here to experience life and learn about it. And uh, karma becomes heavy when, uh, uh, when there has been a difficult rela- uh, experience and uh, we have learned from it and we now want something different. So karma does have... Uh, uh, an effect on the trajectory of our soul journey. Uh, but it's not about doing good karma so that we live better. It's about choice. It's about in every moment we choose which experience we want and we are not affected by the past, by reactivity. Um, we have stepped outside the wheel of karma and we are choosing with awareness and i think what you just touched on here it's about our free will that we have to make the choice we have the free will to actually decide i don't want to repeat the same pattern again and again in relationships in manifestation in our work whatever it is But I I would like to quote here Maya Angelou that stepping into a brand new path is difficult, but no more difficult than remaining in a situation which is not nurturing the whole woman. Here she talks about the woman, but obviously it's every person. Because sometimes it's better the devil we know. So we stay in the same situation because no, we know how it will end. But we need the power, the strength, the inner knowing that it's time to step out of it. There are so many different choices. Sometimes, yes, when it's too painful and we have have to do it, we have to step out of it. And the other thing, I will just touch on it and then you can (laughs) run with it. It's the Akashic Records where everything is written down, where everything is input, everything we've done, everything that's happened, in the world, in the universe, it's there. So what, what's your opinion on it also? Um, so I, I think I totally agree that karma has a character of repetitiveness. So, and it's not bad to, re, to have repetition until it gets tight. And we are not really choosing out of uh, exploring something different, but we are somehow glued into a relationship, into a job that doesn't fit. And uh, so, and karma is about free will in the sense that stepping out of karma and out of the wheel of karma, it's not about stepping out of life and not reincarnating anymore. It's about stepping out and staying in that space where you choose 
consciously what your next step is. Um, but there is some glue, so Akashic field, an energy body, it's science, you know, our emotions are imprinted on, in our body and the Akashic field is just the extension, it's just the field all around, it's our aura and the field and the universe is an immense field of information and this is science, we don't have to believe it, it's demonstrated by science. And it's a bit like the World Wide Web. You know, you want uh, to experience an energy and you Google it, you download it. But what I'm saying is that um, you want to explore those imprints in the energy fields that are holding you back or that are tightening, that are in the way for you to express new choices. Uh, all those imprints that have been painful and are stuck there because you're not expressing the emotion. So karma is good. When it comes out in your life, look at it. It's a way for you to say, right, I've done this ab with abusive relationships. I've done with not expressing myself artistically. I've done with this. I would, I've learned about this and now I'm making a new choice. And also, if we are the experience or God, whatever you want to call it, uh, ex experiencing itself through us, the universe wants to experience everything, the bad, the good. And it's not for us to judge whether something is good or bad. There is sometimes we think something is really bad and it turns out really good. So just different kinds of experiences. But when they become this pattern that we keep repeating and repeating and it drains our energy it doesn't suit us anymore we've learned the lesson it's time to step up use our free will and choose a new timeline make a new choice do something different obviously it's not easy but uh, it becomes a necessity sometimes it's just a necessity and if we want to change it, we can access Akashic Records. We'll do it in our meditation later, where we can look at our contracts, at our agreements. If we believe in past lives, we can say, okay, maybe I made a vow of chastity. I will never marry. Or maybe a vow of poverty. I can't have money. And now the time has come to release these vows, to release these contracts. And yes, do something new. It had a lesson, it had a learning. And we go back into that space of learning that karma is about uh, choice and is about staying in that wholeness and presence continuously. And you said good and bad, and it's all about experience, not good and bad. So, for example, I know I have, you know, experienced many lifetimes as a man and many lifetimes as a woman. But I don't want to be stuck in the role of man is superior, man is good, and instead woman is emotional and uh, instinct. And then I went and I became a woman and it's all about woman and magic and instinct and nothing about logic and masculine. No, you are whole. So it comes to a point where you step into this presence of wholeness where you are both the energy uh, like another example is the prey and the predator. You've experienced to be a predator, killing and feeding, and you experience to be a prey, surrendering and giving of yourself. So it's about reframing. It's not good and bad. It's an experience. Poverty can be an experience that is very precious because you go and understand spirituality as opposed to material. But, it, you know, yes, then... When it becomes too much, when we've learned the lesson, and it's still, sometimes we say, okay, I've learned the lesson, nothing changes, we have to look deeper, how we can change it, and yeah. what we can do with it, also going into the victim mentality, it's a lesson, but if we live all our life as victims, it won't work, <laughs> oh, usually it doesn't work, so yes. let's experience it, let's start our meditation, and Ursula will guide you and then I will step in. 
Yes, so the meditation will be very simple. I'll explain it a tiny bit. Uh, so it's about recalling something which is repetitive in your life and looking at it and saying, okay, I do this. Actually, I want something different and see if it's charged and releasing, you know, any charge and then choosing something different. So it's a closed eye meditation. So I invite you to just relax wherever you are, take a deep in-breath and let go of all the talking and needing to understand and just stepping into a place of stillness, of breathing slowly. of relaxing and opening. You are going to that space which is a space of presence, of relaxation. Of breathing slowly. And the intention is about looking at what is present in your life right now that you want to change because you are stepping onto another level of growth and evolution. And usually it comes as a situation or a relationship that somehow is repetitive. Oh, it's happening again. And it's not comfortable. You may feel uh, stuck in an area of your life or in a repetitive relationship. And I would like you to really not jump into this, but sit as a sage, looking from a detached space. Reality is mirroring back something to you. And it's repetitive and possibly painful. That means there is a tightness, an uncomfortable feeling. And you are looking from a place behind the scenes in awareness. And you are developing an awareness of a new choice that you would like to make, a new experience you would like to have of relationships, of self-expression, of expansion. But there is some glue, there is some something painful or resistant or, or uncomfortable or that you are feeling tight and you want to break free and and you allow you allow it to be even if it's uncomfortable because you are opening it courageously and you are sitting with your awareness of a new new choice Go to the core of the experience. See the essence of it. 
and the pattern and the essence of the charge the emotional charge you may feel angry or or in pain suffering of some kind and stay in your new choice and let's see with the kasha now how we can change this how we can release the charge learn the lesson and move forward into a new new direction new choice new karmic line of evolution and wholeness and now you know your pattern you know what has been repeating in your life you know the feeling and emotions connected to it and let's go even deeper what is the fear why haven't you been able to change till now what are you afraid of what will the change bring that brings fear And is this fear new or has it been with you for a very long time? Maybe for lifetimes. And do you know when it started? Let's go deeper. Imagine yourself either in an energy field, filled with information, or in a library, or in a memory of a computer. This is the place where all the information is stored, where the Akashic records are stored. And find a place, the book, where there is information about your karma, your fear, and your pattern. And look into it. Did you make a contract, a vow? Was it one of your actions that created this pattern? And now you can use your free will. You can decide to change it, to annul the vow, change the contract, look at the action in a completely different way. So it's the time for you to make a decision. Is it time for the new choice? To choose the new timeline, to choose the new life. Without the hardship of this lesson, you've learned it. Now it's time to move on. So if you're ready, make the new choice. Open up to the new opportunity. Maybe you need to burn burn the contract. 
do something with the vow, apologize. Just do it. And when it's all cleared, how do you see your new life? What does it feel like? Are there any smells, sounds, emotions, colors? Embrace them all. Take them all in. See the freedom and the flow that have come with your new choices. And you can stay with it for as long as you want. 